Mum's really annoyed at the minute, the relationship's frayed. This started, I was living with them last year and they got annoyed with my bathroom habits. I love a long bath and I love to eat in the bath and I had some Greek yoghurt in the bath because I'm in show business. And unbeknownst to me, some of the yoghurt ended up in the bath. I then went into my room to get changed. Mum comes into the bathroom, looks in the bath. She's like, have you had the biggest wank anyone's ever had? <laughs> I came in, there's blueberries in there. I was like, oh yeah, I've shut out perfect blueberries as well, Helen. Just squeeze those through my urethra. The real friction is on Twitter. Mum is also on Twitter. She is at Mama You can follow her. She posts her paintings. She also searches not only my name, but searches what people are writing to me, what people are writing about me. So she will have seen all the tweets that you sent tonight. She loves reading them. She'll go through all of them. And she also sometimes will show me tweets when like, I've been on telly. It's, every time you go on telly, there's a bit of nastiness. It comes with a job. There was one she showed me which I loved, which was I'd just been on um, Blankety Blank with David Williams, which, to be fair, was dog shit. And I... Um, <laughs> I got a tweet which just said, you're not funny. And I appreciated the succinctness of the tweet, but what I loved about it is I looked at the woman's profile who'd sent it, and she's a self-esteem coach. <laughs> Maybe she's the self-esteem coach of a rival comedian. Maybe Ramesh was feeling down on his luck. <laughs> I thought he'd bring me down. But this is um, something I'm getting used to, but like um, sometimes people will now tweet when they've seen me out and about, say they've seen me somewhere, they might take a picture, and that's fine, comes with the job. But sometimes I don't want mum to know where I've been. And this, um, the worst example for this, I went, I said to her one morning, I said, I'm going to Manchester to see my friend Josephine, we're gonna have a light lunch, and then I'm gonna get the train back to Birmingham. Went to Manchester, got totally shit-faced with Josephine, <laughs> had a pasty on the train on the way home, little pasty to soak up the alcohol. Got home, mum was like, oh, being healthy, are you? I was like, yeah, yeah. I mean, I had a couple of glasses of wine, but I had a salad at lunch. She was like, explain this. Somebody took a picture of me on the bloody train, didn't they? <laughs> really enjoyed that pasta, as you can see. Looks worryingly like that when you put it together as well. <laughs> Could have been Prime Minister. Oh, I got her back, though, because I did a tweet. It wasn't actually about her, but she was offended by it anyway. The tweet was, um, to find out your dirty prostitute name, take your mother's surname and put her first name in front of it. <laughs> 1,000 retweets. Thank you, Twitter. <laughs>